let's go to the second problem in the contest it's called uh, reachable nodes with restrictions so you are given an undirected graph you have to find out uh, what all nodes are reachable right so you have to start from zero and you have to find which nodes are reachable now there's just one thing in the problem there are some nodes which are restricted so if four is restricted you cannot visit further from four if five is restricted you cannot reach six because five is going to prevent you from reaching six there is no path to six so you have to find out all such nodes which are possible to visit okay so again it's a simple problem can be solved using simple dfs or bfs right so we are, we are going to apply any such algorithm and you can solve this problem so let's uh, start what is going to be the logic you have to start from node 0 right so what you can do you start from node 0 and as usual in the dfs what you are going to do you are going to visit nodes one by one so you are going to make calls to your neighbors so you have a graph you are going to start from zero so first of all you can uh, store the neighbors of zero so zero has neighbors one four and five uh, first of all we'll construct the this graph uh, then you can see one one has neighbors two and three then you can see four four has no neighbors you can see five five has a neighbor six and um, so on right two has a neighbor one three has a neighbor one um and uh, 6 6 has a neighbor 5 so you will construct this graph first of all with all the values of neighbors and uh, 4 also has a neighbor 0 okay because it's an undirected graph so if 0 is a neighbor of 4 4 is a neighbor of 0 and so on okay so first we will construct this graph then what we'll do we'll start from node 0 and we'll make uh, a call to the neighbors you can also keep an answer variable so initially whenever you visit a node you can just mark it an answer so when you are visiting zero you are we have visited one node so answer is currently one you can make a call to the neighbors one by one so zero has a neighbor one so you can go to one and you can um, see that it is not a restricted node right so you can you are visiting the node so you can change your answer and you can mark it as two because now you have visited two nodes then you can go to the neighbor of one so one has a neighbor two so it's also not a restricted node so you can visit it you can change the answer uh, then you can uh, check the neighbors of two now two has a neighbor one but already a visited one right so that's why you need a visited array also to keep track of which neighbors you are visiting because from two if you make a call back to one you will run into a problem from two you will call one from one you will call two from two you will call one you will run into a recursive infinite loop problem so you need to keep track of whichever nodes you are already visiting right so for all the nodes 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 what i can do i can keep a visited array whichever node i am visiting for example i visited 0 i'll mark it as true one i have visited i'll mark it as true so when i am mm, looking to visit neighbors from two i can see that two only has one neighbor one but one is already visited so if one is already visited i will not visit it again right i can just go to the next neighbor of one so now from one i can go and visit three three is also not restricted so i can change an answer answer will become equal to four okay now you will go to the next neighbor of zero after after these all calls are finished you will come back and you will go into the next neighbor of zero which is four four is restricted right so you cannot visit it so for looking up uh, nodes faster you can store restricted nodes in a set because uh, you are given restricted nodes in the form of a vector so whether a node is restricted or not if you have to check in a vector you have to go and visit all the nodes in the vector and check if it is a restricted node or not so look up in a set is obviously much faster than a vector in a vector you have to look up all the nodes but in a set just in order of one time you can just quickly look up whether the node is a restricted node or not so we'll store it in a set we can check that four exists in the set means four is a restricted node we will not visit it okay we will not change the answer variable similarly we'll visit five we can check that five is a restricted node so we will not visit any node further from five and our final answer will be four right so there is a simple just dfs concept or bfs any algorithm you can apply whichever you are comfortable with so first of all you have to construct a graph so let's quickly construct a graph vector vector int graph and it's going to be of size n because there are n nodes and to construct a graph it's very simple just iterate over the edges array right so i'm going to iterate over the edges array and i'm going to store it in the graph so what i'm doing there is a edge from edges of i of 0 to edges of i of 1 right similarly vice versa also there is an edge so there is an edge so what i can do in the graph corresponding to this node i can push back this node that means that this is my neighbor right so that's it and the simple line i can just uh, 
reverse it and give it because it's an undirected graph so to construct an undirected graph you have to give the line both ways okay now you have constructed this now the next thing is you have to declare a visited visited vector so we had declared visited initially all the values are going to be false now what you can do you can just make a dfs call you are starting from the node 0 right so first i will give the node 0 and you can pass graph to this dfs uh, function you can pass uh, the restricted so so instead of the restricted vector as discussed we will uh, store a set so we will just store the nodes in a set so that lookup is very very easy so you can quickly check whether a node is restricted or not using this set right because if you check in a vector you will have to check all the elements instead of that you can store it in a set so that you can just quickly check up and uh, you can pass a answer variable which you are going to return so whenever you are visiting a node which is not restricted you can increase your answer by one initially answer initially answer is actually one because uh, the node zero is never restricted right so for the node zero i can uh, give that my answer is a one so we are starting from node zero and we are making the dfs call okay now let's quickly write the dfs function so we have uh, four parameters in the dfs function let me copy them the first parameter is the node that you are visiting the second parameter is the um, graph which is going to tell us which node has which neighbor so which node you have to visit next and the next parameter is your set which gives you which nodes are restricted and the last one is the answer okay so what you can do the first thing uh, okay by the way we also have to pass the visited uh, visited boolean vector so let me also quickly pass that so that you can check if which node is visited you need not visit it again right so the first thing that you need to do is whenever you visit a node you can just go and mark it in the visited vector okay now you need to make a dfs call to your neighbors again so it's very simple we have graph right so you can look for all the neighbors in your graph so you can just go to graph in the graph look up your node find all the neighbors which are there corresponding to the current node right and then you can make a dfs call to your neighbors and you can just pass the same parameters again okay so this is the simple logic but now we have to make a simple change here right what is a simple change first of all you you have to check whether your neighbor is not restricted and then you have to check whether it is not visited already that's it that's the simple thing so how do you check if it is not restricted or not look up in the set so you are going to find s dot find neighbor this is going to find whether this neighbor is there in the restricted set or not right so we have created a restricted set so if if it is not there in the restricted set then you can make the dfs call but you also need to check whether this neighbor is not already visited you don't want to visit it again if it is already visited right that's it this is a simple condition now there's one more thing what i can do is when i find a node that is good i can just increment my answer okay that's it i can run this code and check whether it is working it's working let's see if it's working for all the test cases so it's working 